Welcome to This Is Important, a production of iHeartRadio, the show where we only talk about what's obviously most crucially integral to the fabric of our very nature. Today we talk about every human is shrinking. We're changing diapers over here. We got a blowout. How big is the bin? How big is the bin? Whoa, I just opened up physical evidence. <laughs> Here we go. Hey, oh. Okay, oh my God. All right. Oh, We're back. Wheel, wheel. Wake up, wake I just, I just want to say, Adam can't hear you. Can't Adam, try to talk. What do you mean you can't oh, hear me? Wheel. Now I can hear you, but the we're back. Now you can, crispy. You didn't hear we're back. <laughs> you're having you're having some real digital dropouts or something. I don't know what that is. Yeah. Really? Why? Yeah. I, I mean, I if it sounds like now you're good. Maybe it's the yelling. I think it might be the fact that you're recording live from backstage somewhere. What is this curtain? This is the way. He's at Fallon, dude. <laughs> dude, my wife put this curtain, this this sick curtain up in my office because it, it it looks nice on the on the uh, Zoom backdrops. It does. Yeah, I wish you were coming live from Broadway. You were just like backstage waiting for yeah. your cue from Broadway for the from the ESPYS. Wouldn't that be fun? Wow, if Adam was backstage at Broadway and <laughs> he was remember remember when G Money said uh, see y'all on Broadway. Uh, mm-hmm. Don't forget about me. Don't for he said. Do we do we tell that story? Do we tell that story? We had to have. I think we have. Yeah, yeah. we had yeah. to have. We yeah. had to have. Hey, and we're and we're not telling it again okay yeah. fans that want to know what i'm talking about but if you don't know what he's talking about go, go back and go back and listen to the the tapes files catacombs yeah catalog did we make like a song blake did we make a song about that blake i feel like we sung that so like g money singing this is the like way on wax don't forget about me when you boys find your way to broadway <laughs> To Broadway. To Broadway. All right. Well, essentially, we got to tell it it now. Essentially, (laughs) our neighbor across the street was named G Money. He Uh wore a chain with a giant G with like the money slashes through the middle of it. Yeah, he made money. And yeah, he was the shit. And the G had the vertical lines. Okay. Mm -hmm. Had the vertical lines. Yes. And it was hard. We were always like filming is when we were first doing like YouTube videos. We're always filming, dressing up in costumes, Mm -hmm. being idiots around our, our neighborhood. And he would like be looking at us sort of like with an eyebrow raise like what are these fucking kids up to Mm -hmm. and then uh when we go to move out he's like yo um heard y'all moving out and we're like yeah yeah and he goes uh all right then well um i'll see y'all on broadway (laughs) and we were (laughs) dumbfounded we were like did he think we were like trying to get a career in broadway this whole time yeah he said he thought we were the cast the cats yeah (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> would have been a cool run i think wouldn't it be wild though if you if you were like yeah you know what i'm actually going to be doing this show on broadway for a couple months you guys i'll see you out there yeah. and then you get on stage and guess who's your choreographer g money is in the front row i put in a word for y'all yeah he's there he's there yeah, yeah, I know Josh Gad. <laughs> I had you replace Josh Gad. <laughs> and remember on the pod when you talked about it and you thought it was just because I didn't know the industry too well or the ins and the outs? Mm-hmm. This is what I was talking about. I saw I saw that in you the, all those years ago. And that impression you were doing of me, that was a character that I was doing. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I kind of find it offensive. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> My real name is Zach Lipton. I'm sort of offended by it. No, but admittedly, a pretty good impression of him. And uh, what's weird is, is yeah. that yeah. the impression I was doing was offensive. And I just wanted to say, say let's, let's get canceled yeah. together. I'll see you. I'll see you on broadcast television. This is my apology and take back, Adam. I've listened to every episode of the pod. Uh, No. Well, remember, I told Blake this. I drove past the old house maybe a year or two ago. And just to like, it it was before the pandemic. So it's been a few years now. Oh, pre-pan? And pre-pan. And just drove past the old house to check it out. And G-Money was across the street washing cars as he does there was always like rolls royces and shit being washed in his driveway which was 
sick. Uh, and we weren't in a neighborhood where Rolls Royces were just everywhere. It was like a, an, a not awesome neighborhood. Right. And he's out there washing these Rolls Royces. And uh, I go, gee, <laughs> and wave at him. And he stared at me. He there was zero recollection of me Aww. in his mind, and it, re- yeah. it really hurt my feelings. Yeah, that's it right. really yeah, it sucked. Yeah. Damn. So you weren't yeah. as impactful. <laughs> All yeah. part of his character study, Adam. He was like, yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Durst really has a beat on this guy. G Money wouldn't remember Adam. Yeah. Give him the stare. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. Hey. And he was right. able to commit so quickly to not even a glimmer. He's such a good yeah. actor. That G. Gosh, is that a thing that we should do? Should we put our heads together now and come up with a Broadway show? Because Dude. I feel like uh, mm-hmm. we should yeah. push there or something. I feel like people have had success. Yeah, Broadway's doing better than ever. Yeah, workaholics on Broadway. Right, what? or just mm-hmm. something on Broadway, you know? Because the rights. Yeah, we don't own the rights to workaholics, so yeah, fuck, fuck. The rights. <laughs> That's the only reason I'm... Yeah. Look, hey guys, Blake is thinking really hard. Look at I him. Know, here we go. Yeah, this is good. Oh, Blake, he's touching his head. He's touching his top what right eyebrow. What musical? There's a something it was just turned into a musical and I was like, "Whoa, that is fucking wild. Some show." Yeah. <sighs> Beetlejuice? Beetlejuice. Yeah, and what and what is it? We want you to to remember this. What is it? Really think about that. Damn. What the fuck was it? It wasn't SpongeBob. What was it? Okay. That was what I was going to do before the pandemic is I had tickets booked to the SpongeBob <laughs> musical and that shit got canceled, bro. So SpongeBob did did have a SpongeBob is a musical. There is a SpongeBob oh. SquarePants musical still? Uh maybe I it might be making its round how in on Broadway or like touring this was at like pantages maybe it's off broadway yeah yeah but right it, maybe it's off where it had started on broadway and then moved off broadway i like that's such like a funny term like off bro- off broadway off off broadway oh, yeah yeah you have to be on broadway or off broadway <laughs> that's it where like any play that isn't on Broadway, you you still like mention Broadway, so it gives it some clout. <laughs> yeah, that's like. Right. Why do you do that? Yeah, like your your play has nothing to do with Broadway. It's not at that level even a little bit, but you say it's off Broadway, so yeah. at least Broadway is within the title. So you're like, oh, right. well, Broadway. That's like if you have a YouTube channel, you're off off TV. That's kind of cool. <laughs> Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of yeah. off TV. It's a, it's on uh, on YouTube. Yeah, we're we're sort of off yeah. off Hollywood. Uh, yeah. yeah, on internet. Yeah, <laughs> but who was the fun guy who said off off Broadway? Uh, G Money, believe it or not. And everyone was like, "Did you just? Did you just come?" It was G Funny. It was a different guy. G Funny. <laughs> oh, G Funny. Oh, Related. G Funny. Yeah, G Money's G Money's homeboy. Okay, we might have our first points of the day. <laughs> yes, points, <laughs> points, points. Durs gets we... all the points. We... Durs, you have hella points. He has hella points. For... Get to yeah. points. I love it when we get to points. <laughs> that's what that's what happens. You have. <laughs> oh, you like points now? Pre workout for the first time in a month, you're rearing to go. I love points. Wait, you got pre workout coursing through your veins right now? Yeah. Ooh. <sighs> when you have like the the niacin skin just like bubbling. Oh, you do. Oh, you do oh. right now? Well, did you hit a workout or? Well, I took it earlier, and I haven't taken it for like three weeks because I just ran out and haven't gotten to GNC. Send me free shit. What? What kind of? What do you? It's what science. do you take? Are you fucking with Jacked? Are you Ghost? fucking with Mark Wahlberg's uh, mix? I d- I do lit. I do lit. Ooh. Lit. Ooh. lit. lit. Who is, that? is that race rumen? Uh, I've I've done lit AF and lit AF has too much caffeine for me. It's a little crazy. Oh, so you're not lit. Uh, it's too it's too AF. It's too lit. A lit AF? No, it's it's. I'm not lit AF. I'm lit. Oh wait, these are two separate things. <laughs> yes, there's lit, which has like. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I know. I'm hearing this for the first time too. 120 whatevers, and that one has like 220 or something like that. Lit AF. I have C4. That's a fucking explosive. I know. It's a and <laughs> yeah. What the? You're gonna explode. <laughs> C4 is an explosive from movies. <laughs> 
And I've had TSA take it out of my <laughs> luggage before. <laughs> and it says C4 yeah, yeah, yeah. on it. Oh, and right. man, did they have some questions. They're like, what is this? Right. I'm like, it's pre-workout. And they're like, mm-hmm. And what does that mean? <laughs> uh-huh. yeah. yeah, and then they read it, and and one of the guys knew what it was, so right. they allowed. Yeah, Some dude, jacked got- ass TSA dude comes <laughs> yeah. over, he's like, "He's all right. good, guys. <laughs> We're gonna laugh about this." <laughs> yeah, uh-huh. he's fine, my bro, brother in swole. <laughs> what is this pre-workout shoe bomb? What is shoe bomb? Go to go to GNC. <laughs> give yourself points. That's funny. Yeah, give yourself some points. Hey, thanks, bud. Oh, hey. okay. Yeah, some points. Uh, you know, I do like points. <laughs> okay. Hey, you know what? I will. Yeah, it's a pre-workout <laughs> terrorist cell. <laughs> if you go to GNC and you look at the flavors of all these products, they uh, are insane. It's like yes. they're marketed towards eight-year-olds. Half of them are like oh, yeah. gummy worms and Jolly Rancher. Sour Patch Kids. Sour yeah. Patch Kids. Like, mm-hmm. really? Yeah, dude. I got a protein shake thing that was like Girl Scout cookie. Well, they're awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, they're like weed. It's weed and pre-workout is what yes. the game is right I, now. Those are the brands that are hot amongst people. Wild. Because well, uh, working out high is actually pretty fun yeah. sometimes. Yeah. Go ahead. Oh, it's the best. Yeah. Go ahead. It's talk the more, only way more. to fucking work out. Do you, well, Durst doesn't really smoke that much weed, so you probably have yeah. never worked out high, huh? Uh, I don't think so, no. Just lit AF. Give it a shot. Uh, I do fairly often, and mm-hmm. it's nice. You, you, you get into the zone. Yes, you do. I like to lift. Do uh, you? <laughs> you get into a zone, that's for sure. <laughs> the zone, dude. You get into a zone. Bro, you do. You get into a fucking zone. If you smoke weed all the time and that's your thing, like, you fucking... Like, you can be intense? Oh, fuck yeah, bro. I like to go... Yes, I like to go faster when I'm... Uh, I like to do, like, high-intensity workouts m- with pre... And weed, it's great because huh? you just zone in, do exactly what you're doing. Mm. You're, you don't think of anything else. You just mm. sort of, this you're just doing way. that. Yeah, it stops the voices. It stops the voices for you, Adam. Now, lifting, I'd say it's it's not as, <laughs> the voices don't come in my head like they normally do. Great, great. Do they yeah. come in your head? <laughs> That's awkward. That's bad. Yeah, they are always jizzing in my noggin. Adam has coming voices in his head? <laughs> Okay, guys. Yeah. Do not come. And then uh, <laughs> that's what Adam hears in his head all day. Yeah. Do not come. Because <laughs> he's on the brink. Oh my god. He's constantly on the brink. <laughs> I didn't know that was Kamala Harris. That's yes, great. That is your president. Yeah. No, it's not. <laughs> yes, it, it is. is. <laughs> she's not my president. No. no. She's not. She's yes, my vice it. president. She's a vice president. Biden's the yep. puppet. She's pulling the strings. Um, okay. Polly Char, come on. Oh. Pull back your. All right. Hey, we'll pull. Hey, we'll pull him a little harder. Because that guy looks asleep at the wheel, okay? <laughs> okay. Uh, He's a friend. He's joking. Hey. <laughs> ah, Polly Char. But then I don't think I think lifting weights while yes. stoned, like slowly lifting, like very slowly. Then I then I start to get sidetracked. That that's when I'll take like four minutes in between sets, and I'll just look at my phone and be like, Oh yeah, I'm li- I'm working out right now. Yeah. But right. the faster you right. move, I I think the better the the weed is. Yeah, like for cardio or for plyo or anything like that, dude. Fucking get stoned. I would like to see you going fast high just to see if you think you're fast high or if you're Mm. actually fast high. Well, by the way, it's been a while since uh, because of all my problems. Guess what else I I just found out? Uh, Uh Uh-oh, he's got a tail. (laughs) Another ailment. We did an MRI. Yeah, well, it's going to happen to all of us. Uh, On my back. Last mm-hmm. week, uh, I had a, uh, a herniated disc. Oh, okay. Yeah. W. <laughs> wow, dude. Yeah, or what hemorrhage. What is it? It's like it's like both hemorrhoid herniated herniated. So disc. the herniated is that right? Is that right? Yeah. Is yeah. that so? The in between stuff is yeah. popping out, right? Yes, it's popping out. Yes. Yeah, it's good. It's leaking out the side. He leaking. <laughs> yeah, I got two of those. That's what I'm saying. I got two of those. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, yeah. So they're man. saying my back pain is that. And then the hip and groin pain is my uh, torn limbar in my hip. Mm, so that's, right. that's, that's, uh, it, hey, we got to the bottom of my, uh, my issues. Now it's time to get better. The back of your bottom of your back. 
is that's like why do, does that come with age hemorrhaging of back like why does your shit leak out the side what even causes that like if you put a lot of stress on your like if you were landing a ton or whatever uh, mm -hmm. you know if you're dropping into half splits a lot for years, yeah. Yeah. right. Or if you're that can happen. If, if, or in my case, if I was like Adam and Prince have the same problem, right? If you're doing classic jazz splits yeah. uh, at, at damn near forty years old on the right. regular without yes. stretching, yeah. Yeah. you might get a herniated disc. I think just in line at Chipotle. <laughs> Dropping splits. Burrito bowl. Yeah. I think my shit is from trying to fucking skateboard. I think that's where I got mine. Yeah. From trying Ooh. to jump and like never really. Yeah. You <laughs> Landing it. No, jumping. Yeah. But it's from landing. They said it's from landing. You never landed. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> that's what I mean. But I landed. So I was yeah, never fine. able to. That's what I said. I said that. So I yeah, got in front points of that. to him. Yeah, um, so. <laughs> but, but. You don't get points. He gets points. Hey, self burn. Sorry. Hey. Uh, yeah, that was a self burn. So I already kind of was in front of he, that. He freaking be rabbited you. He <laughs> Eminem'd your ass. You thought you were going to get him, but he already pointed out all his failures. I like that. Exactly. Super. You, hey, but but when it comes to that kind of thing. Hey, that's not B Rabbit, dude. B Rabbit yeah. was his homie, by the way, Blake. Yeah, fucking well, idiot. Yes. <laughs> oh, sorry, my bad, my bad. Hey, Kyle, I I know you admit I know you admitted it. You still didn't fucking land it, dude. <laughs> oh man, that's good. That's good, Anders. I appreciate that. And it, I know you said it, but you still didn't land it. It does hurt. It does hurt. Yeah. So to answer your question, Blake, I don't really know. Yeah, it works. Still works. <laughs> because he says it's like it's part of getting old. Like we're all shrinking. What? And it's like the stuff. No, I'm not. Yeah. Like every yeah. every human is. Sh the show on HBO? You've been talking to Emma. <laughs> every human is shrinking. Is shrinking. Well, not if you're <laughs> right. growing. Yeah. What do you mean? Well, yeah, yeah. So, like, as uh, after you're done growing, <laughs> like Kyle, you begin to shrink. Yes, true, Kyle. Yes, mm -hmm. children oh. aren't shrinking. I'm sorry, dude. I, I'm just. He said every human, but every adult. You know, because when you're getting old, you you know you lose a few inches. So God, that sucks. That's right. That's yes. Can we can we talk downsizing for a minute? That movie. I was actually. I do want to talk about this, guys. No. This is talking with oh, downsizing. Right. I never you don't have to, but I don't want to. I don't want to minimizing. I'm having like a real existential crisis because, as you know, I'm like in the middle of moving and like, oh, uh, he just learned that word. <laughs> no, I didn't. I've known that. Are you having your Marie Kondo <laughs> if you don't? Yes. Yes. This is the best transition we've ever had. If Blake is really transitioning. This Okay. I am transitioning, but that's another story. This is about <laughs> this is about <laughs> my fucking I can't get rid of my CDs, bro. I yeah, think it's don't. time. Oh. Yeah, dude, Blake, Blake was dusting out. He was sending us texts the other night of like old CDs mm -hmm. of like rappers that we yeah. knew from like a solid 10 years ago mm -hmm. and like people like bad music that was made by our you friends hmm. that uh that he just still has bad music <laughs> oh, oh like what for example uh, yeah what was the well I, I forget the exactly what cds he had but like it's you know he just keeps he had one that i wanted to hear i mean i had eric griffin's first stand-up comedy cd yeah, yeah, that's great. I gotta go through my shit. Oh yeah, that's right. Okay, so bad comedy. Sorry, but you gotta keep that for like leveling out tables and stuff around the house. <laughs> dude, Get him. No, but uh, dude, I have Burn. I have so many CDs. Eric's gonna text me and be like, "Come on, man." <laughs> Hey, but thanks for the mention. Do I just throw them all or sell them to Amoeba? Do I get rid of them? No, just keep them. Just keep them, dude. You don't sell them to Amoeba. You keep them, dude. Turn them into furniture or something. No, dude, I have too many. How many do you have? What's the what's the count? Because I is this your whole life? This is my whole life yes. that I collected CDs. I have hey, yeah. nine bins. Throw them all away. Throw them all right? away. My life, my life, my life, my life. Yeah, okay. throw everything away. There, there. Hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There must be something you can do with nine bins of CDs. Wait, what is a bin? You stack stack them? I don't know. how. What's the quantity in the bin? How many is in a bin? What's a bin? Big, big. Like it, big. Yeah. 
I love how you go, I have nine bins like, as opposed to just going, you, I have 900 CDs. Well, there's way more it's than 900. Way more than 900. It's way more than 900. Well, I don't know. What, so, yeah, no, I'm sorry. I don't know what a bin is. <laughs> I know. A bin is so a, is it 1,000? Well, what do you mean you don't know what a bin is? It's a big plastic bin, right? A big plastic bin. But how big? Yes. Right. So how many CDs is that? How big is the bin? How big is the bin? Uh, How big is the bin? bin? What's in the bin? Let's say. <laughs> uh, wait, uh, hold on. I gotta get yeah. points. I gotta get everything. Yeah, is this a bargain bin? Hey, the, who's who are you <laughs> yes, giving those points, points to? Because I just said, "What's in the bin?" And then Dur said it. Yes, points. Every okay, everybody can have points. <laughs> I, I don't think you said what's in the bin. I think you said how much is in the bin, and then Kyle said, you said what's in the I said what's a bin. No, I said what's in the bin. I said what's in the bin. Todd, can we run it back, please, and let's get the points right? I don't <laughs> this is like those commercials where the guy's like, I got to throw a flag on this one, gonna- Dad. First of all, D- Blake keeps throwing points to the wrong guys. He gave it to Durs earlier when Kyle self-inflicted the burn, and he deserved those points. It feels natural to give it to me. I'm living in a nightmare. I actually think that Durs said what's in the bin first, if that's what we're arguing about right now. Is that what we're arguing about right now? We got to go to replay. Sensitive. No. <laughs> No, I I swear I said it. I said it first. I said, what I is a bin? Todd, who said it first? Who said what's in the bin? Adam, I hope you said it first. It's been, I I've oh, had too I many hope. points this episode. <laughs> oh, I, I pray. <laughs> hey, hey, regardless. All right. Oh, I hope because it's a blowout. It's another blowout. There's got another blowout on his hand. Hey, you know what? You know what? I don't I don't need the points. <laughs> We're changing diapers over here. We got a blowout. Any uh, <laughs> points for that? No. Hey, don't do it for the points. I won't. Dad points. <laughs> to answer your question, Blake, throw everything away. You don't you're such a pack rat. You have yes. so much stuff and I, I think your your girl is really good for you cuz I think she's in Encouraging you to get rid of some of your get a storage unit. You call them collectibles. A lot of people would call them garbage, but garbage trash. One man's trash is another man's treasure. Okay. Get Blake. Get a storage unit. Don't Kyle. I don't think that's. I, I'm gonna marry both these guys. Things. Don't get rid of them, and also don't Thank get you. a storage unit. What's no. wrong with a storage unit? Because it's just trash. Go through the CDs and and make some sort of like like f- around your entire house. You can. <sighs> frame like nine to 20 to 64 cds of different sizes of like your favorite shit by genre or by whatever like you could turn this into something dope also hang on to cds because i'm trying to listen to some neil young guess what not on spotify gotta go to my cds or at least to my computer joni mitchell not on spotify gotta go somewhere else right right de la soul finally back (laughs) go through them and save your top 1,000. Yes. Get a, get a CD book and save yes. your top 1,000. But I know this guy has 25,000. Yes. And at least... Do you think you have 25,000 compact discs? If you get rid of the Free Willy soundtrack, you will never forgive yourself. Oh, that's true. That's what I mean. We had a collection, Blake. We've that's gotten true. rid of a collection like this, and we got rid of our energy drink, drink collection. And and <laughs> energy yeah. what? Would you just energy say? Energy dink. And I've been playing pickleball so much. Energy dink. Mm-hmm. And you said energy dink. Hey, give him negative points. <laughs> hey guys, a pickleball, a pickleball guy out here. No, that's a that's a pickleball term. Energy dink. <laughs> I would buy that. But energy drink collection. How do you feel about that? Okay. I mean, that's a good test of like. I'm fine, dude. Yeah, he's good with it. All right, I'm not very good with that. <laughs> Fine. I mean, I miss. I wish we. I wish we took pictures of everyone. Yes, correct. So we had some sort of filing of it. Remember but, the idea I had? Uh, yeah, it, which is good. It was a great idea. But here's the thing, guys. I think I have a true like disorder. Yeah, because I really. I agree, Adam. <laughs> I get overwhelmed, and I get like, and I get like sad, and and I and I start to have anxiety when. I am confronted with this stuff and know I have to throw it away, get rid of it. Like letting go of something that you have a memory of is 
actually yeah yeah but but you still will you still have the memories you know just keep you keep them no they go away they go away if you're not looking at the stuff constantly they're they they go away how's like the devil on my shoulder yeah but he's not looking at this stuff constantly you know what i mean like he just has stuff that he hasn't looked at in 10 years yes and then he digs it he it's it's trash at that point you know what I don't know, man, because because I got T-shirts from high school that I just broke back out. Like, I know, me too. But you could fit in clothes from Perfect. high school. Yeah, because I thought I thought Hello. I was gonna be like six Damn. five or whatever, so I got like L's and XL's and. Damn, son. I was obviously like swimming in them in high school, and now they fit a little tight. Uh -huh. um, but I, I don't know. I, maybe I have the same disorder. He is my son. <laughs> okay, Durs. For instance, I was also looking through all my like graphic novels. I bought it. I have a ton, but yeah. I'd never reread any of them. I like. Oh, uh, you should reread it. Like, I mean, I reread a little bit. I don't reread all of them all the time, but I, I hang on to ones. Like I read Criminal again the other day. This is why I'm spiraling though. Like, why do we buy anything? Like, why do we have anything? Well, uh... that this is true. This is true. Get your library card on. They got graphic novels at the library now. Yes, and CDs are all digital. Like, it just, like, cons I, I don't know. I would argue that you appreciate the artist, and so you want the most money possible going to the artist, even though it goes through a publisher and, and a, a music publishing house. But, like... Yeah, but when you do purchase... When you stream, dude, it's pennies. It's, or, pardon me, fractions of pennies that goes to these people. Yeah, that sucks. That sucks butt. <laughs> sucks butt. So buy the CDs, throw it away, and then stream it. God, that sucks butt. <laughs> yeah, right. it does suck butt. Yeah, I don't know, man. I'm losing it over here. I don't know. I'm really fucking shook. Well, before you throw them over, let me come over. I, I sort of have the opposite problem where I don't save anything. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like, I will just kind of get rid of... That's life. <laughs> right into the ocean for Adam. You yeah. operate as like I just throw it. I just spike it into the uh, Indonesian seas. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. You brought so much stuff to Indonesia. <laughs> I brought so much old trash with me just to uh, add to the collection. So much plastic, right. like a ton of just yeah plastics. <laughs> I brought all every. I collected every straw I've ever drank out of, and then just dumped it right overboard. It was actually right. easy. <laughs> Yeah, where sometimes I'm like, uh, I when you send, because every once in a while you'll send out posts like that where you're like, hey, look at this old thing or these old t-shirts from like the season one rap party and stuff. And I'm like, oh, yep. that'd be cool to have. But then I'm also like, why? Yeah. Why would that be cool to have? I'm not know. wearing it. I'm not going to wear it. Well, I don't know. It depends. It depends, I guess, on how you operate. Adam. Aren't you building your museum? Like, what the? Yeah, wait. You gotta have all this stuff. I want. Yeah, that sucks. My museum's gonna suck, dude. I want the crutches from seventh grade. I want yeah, the grips. What? The grips from the wheelchair. Hey, the thing is, like, like most museums, you just buy another one. You get another one. You mm. age it, make it look like it's old, distress, and then say that it is the thing that you're saying it is. Yeah, that's how museums work. None of it's real, dude. Yeah, they're not relics. I forgot that's how museums work. <laughs> Oh, they're not actually relics. I really thought we were going to reignite the flames of Planet Hollywood and bring it back. That's not happening. We could do ours. Planet Cucamonga. Well, how about this? How about this? I give you all of my stuff. Okay. You keep it. Okay. What? And then in 20 years, when we start our collective museum, you will have all the stuff. I drop it on you? Yeah. I got I got the raw weed and jeans. I took a half rack of all my wardrobe from Workaholics. Like, I have... Every like office wardrobe, like the green, the pink, and the yellow. I got one each of those. Love the yellow. The canary. The canary. I got like, I got a bunch of shit that I'm just sitting on that I think someday I'm going to auction off when there's like, well, maybe for the earthquake. I don't know. I got to figure it out. <laughs> oh, yeah. The big earthquake. Yeah. A lot of people died. Yeah. Oh, and where was that again? Turkey. Tur Turkey. Turkey. Yeah. 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 Man. Fucking yeah. sucks. Fuck, yeah. Fucking thing sucks. That's the whole Marie Kondo thing, right? Who? Is like you take Marie Kondo. That's the whole thing that she says is you you take things out. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, Kondo Kondo. Marie Kondo is not a martial art player. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs>
<laughs> Marie Kondo. <laughs> what did I say? How did I say it wrong? Con- it's condo, right? Condo? Yeah. Yes, oh, points. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. oh, fuck. It's not Taekwondo. Damn. All right. Well, but you take everything out. So when you're when you're moving, you're forced to do this in a major way. You take everything out, and then mm-hmm. what makes the cut, you put back in the drawer or whatever. Right. And if mm-hmm. you never Ooh. wear it, you, if you never fucking care about it, if you don't give a shit about it, it goes in the bin, the trash bin, not the savings bin. Or the recycling bin, or take it to Salvation Army. Or right. I'm at Goodwill all the time. The stuff. donation bin. Yeah, yeah. I, I do a lot of Goodwill runs. Me too. That's what I'm saying, though. That fucking, that little hack doesn't work for me. She's like, hold the things in your hand. Does it spark joy? I always sparks joy. Everything sparks joy. Exactly, yeah. Then you keep it. Well, now I have infinity things, and I don't want them. I have a lot of joy, I guess. I'm very joy. What I'm saying is put them, re reframe your experience with them. Okay. And not literally frame, but like you could frame some of these, you could you could build, you could stack them into a chair that you have in the corner of a room where like you can read on the side, like, oh Hold shit, up. these are all R. Kelly CDs? I'm not sitting here. <laughs> yeah, dude, I did find that, Ben. <laughs> of course you did, man. <laughs> I did find that, Ben. I was like, whoa. Still slaps. Yeah. I was uh, like, whoa, I just opened up physical evidence. <laughs> You know? <laughs> like just I'm saying what I'm saying is 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 change the way that you interact with the CDs. If you don't look at them now, maybe there's a better way to do that. Yeah, because right. they definitely just are sitting in a closet in my garage. Right. You could always know. get a bunch of like instead of bins, you could ditch the plastics and put them all in this in their own C D cases, you know. So you, <laughs> you just or, have dude, your books. Oh. Stack the, them you all. know the little yeah. fucking books of CDs. But the case dude. is the thing. The case is the thing you want. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm saying get, take your top 500 or or top 1,000. You keep the artwork. You can keep the artwork. You don't have to keep the plastic. You, you Yeah, you slide the artwork behind the CD and put the CD right in front and in, in the little sleeve. But then the back, the back one is trapped in the jewel case. It's gone forever. Oh, yeah. You can't really get, you can't get the back one out. Yeah, right. That's... And if you got one like Midnight Marauders, that's where you really see everybody's face on the back. Oh, that's tough. That 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 that's the only reason to have CDs, dudes. Because everything we're saying, like, yeah, uh, besides Neil Young, like, all of this stuff exists five times in my life. I have them all on my laptop. I have it all on my phone. I have it. I can just search it on Apple Music. I'm just hanging on to this weird physical thing that's taking weird, wild stuff. No, I mean, dude, I hang. I have a. I have a whole record collection, and I don't know why I have it. Except for when I'm like, you know what? I want to remember when I bought this record and do something abnormal and listen to music in a different way. Yeah. Yeah. Like I want to actually just put a side on. And then I want to be like in the conversation and be like, oh, fuck, I got to flip the side. You know, like Mm. I just want that. Yeah. But Kyle, how often do you do that? Yeah, I'm yeah. saying not that often. Frick, see ya. As soon as it gets over, as soon as the first side's over, he's like, I don't want to flip it. It's really and truly, it's okay. like maybe you get through. I the first side doesn't even go on. That's what I'm saying. It probably yeah. happens like once every year. I'll throw a record on that I like, and I'll do the both sides, and then I'll be like, okay, that's enough. I won't put another record on <laughs> after that. <laughs> you know what I mean? But yeah, but how? But how often? Did, how often do you put the one record on? Is the question. I think like I have it in my studio up here. So I put my records on like okay. maybe once or twice a month. This is too long. Oh, yeah. that's a lot. That's, that's a lot. That's fine. Then, yeah, then you keep yeah. it. Hot, hot, See, hot, I have hot. a record player and some records, and I think I put them on a total of zero times. I never took the record player out of the box. I think I have multiple record players. Why did you get it? Or did it get sent to you? It was gifts. Yeah, yeah. people give it as gifts. And then I'm like, whoa, yeah. cool, I'm going to get into this. And then I like buy a record being like, I'm going to listen to this. And then I just. What record did you buy? Yeah. What have you bought? Uh, yeah. What record did you. Cool in the game. I, f- f- I mean, fuck if I know. Probably Black <laughs> Keys is my guess. Because they, right. they came out with the uh, a vinyl of their stuff. Right. Uh, but then I'm like, nah, that's too much. I'll just listen to it. It's too much. Yeah. I'll just say. I'll just listen to it on my phone. Hey, Google. (laughs) Yeah. I mean, dude, totally, totally. Why not? 
Play the best music. <laughs> yeah, play me a playlist I would like. The best music. <laughs> Another one. I guess the one thing uh, about sifting oh through boy. those CDs and those albums is like you you see them and then you go like, oh shit, like what what was on that album? I do remember liking it. And then you put that album on and yeah, but yes. Yeah. Blake, I'm telling you, keep them. Well, that's the best thing about <laughs> albums too, is you get those you get those cool tracks. You get the tracks that you don't hear often. You'll never hear them again. Well, okay. Beyond beyond the music, because I I see I see keeping the music. You're a music head. It brings I have you it. much joy. Mm -hmm. But then you have other stuff. I do. I have a ton of t-shirts. I know you just have a ton of shit that yep. you can get rid of. Oh. So if the music really is a thing that you're having a really hard time, keep the music. Mm -hmm. But then there, I know you have like collectibles and like yep, little toys, toys. Yep. Yep. and probably oh, just a ton of other bullshit that you absolutely <laughs> don't need. DVDs, books, tons mm -hmm. of books. Yeah. And Blake, you take these t-shirts and you repurpose them. You you cut them into a blanket. <laughs> <laughs> just, this, I'm just wearing the coolest. <laughs> okay. It's a new quilt with your favorite rock stars. You can sleep that, with your favorite bands. That's pretty cool. Yeah. This is the kind of Fucking justification that sucks. keeps everything around. I'm going to do something with it one day. I'm going to do something with it one day. I literally went on YouTube and I said like, should I throw my, you know, you speak into your remote now. I'm like, should I, should I throw my CDs away? And then like, there's the two minimalist, like dot com, whatever, and they make some good points. And then there's ten, like, do not get rid of your CDs. Never get rid of your CDs. The, uh, music will disappear at some point, and you have to keep them. And it's like, uh, right. maybe I have to. And, and the people who get rid of them, they are just creating this thing where we all feel bad that someone's able to like just get rid of all their stuff when really. You need to hold on to your bear. There's your bear. <laughs> we got a labyrinth situation. Oh, here. right. Okay. Uh, <laughs> oh, do you like a lipstick? Here's some lipstick. It's <laughs> all oh, messed up. See, Durs, I don't think you learned anything from her. Well, I still have my CDs, but I'm like, they're just in the trunk of my car. I know, but you probably have. Yeah. Wow. 50 or something. Yeah. I have like, and, and they're all like from a very specific time in my life. Where yes. It's all like, hey, wow, if I ever want to listen to Chumba Wumba's Tub Thumping, I have <laughs> right, that I puke green. Well, I think that comes on. <laughs> Which got, is every weekend. Uh, that com that specifically comes on somewhere every day. Yeah. Yeah. That was one of the, that was one of the first records I bought. Yeah. Really? I know, dude. Was oh, it really? To you. No. No, it okay. wasn't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it wasn't. I'm sorry, but I wish it was. I really do. Yeah, if you ever want to listen, dig out uh, Marcy's Playground or Fastball. Sex and Candy. There you go. But that's on that's on uh, that's on Apple Sirius Music. XM Lithium probably three times a week. Right? That's true. I don't have XM, dude. Can we talk about how much K Rock is now just an old oldie station? They haven't the, like it'll it'll be like every we can. <laughs> <laughs> What's K-Rock? <laughs> like, I'm I'm driving a lot lately. I haven't driven in L.A. for years now. Yeah. And, and I'm driving back and forth from Hollywood down to Orange County mm, uh, several times a week now. We'll and uh, we'll pap, we'll pap. <laughs> and it's like an hour, hour and a half drive. So you're listening to a lot of radio. Mm -hmm. uh, and my XM subscription we'll has has like run its course it's and i would have to like call someone because you got it for free for a year yeah oh yeah no, i think i paid for it and then like i think that credit card was expired and then mm. so it just okay yeah i was like because they're gonna re-up without you even knowing but yeah. oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah no because normally i would just well, yeah sure it's, so it's always on when i get in the car but now it's not working so whoop whap whoop whap whoop whap uh i must do a lot of k-rock the whoop. only thing they play is sublime sick mm -hmm. that's dope red hot chili peppers great wow green green are you reading a list right now <laughs> <laughs> it looks like he's reading it it's uh green day like i'm telling you it's like and those are three of my favorite bands but i'm like yeah. where's the yeah. new rock do they just not exist blake tell me uh <laughs> yeah rock is dead rock is, is dead, it oh yeah, that sucks gone. Yeah, it's Rock's gone. dead. Oh, Rock's dead. Or it just isn't, it isn't the sound that K-Rock subscribes to. But there's no new music for them to get, to get listeners. Well, there's, I mean, there's like Turnstile. There's like a handful of bands. No, no, no. But nobody's listening to that music. 
Yeah, they are. Yeah, they're, they are. They're, it's a how big? They were nominated for Grammy. How big? Grammy. I don't care if they win a Grammy. The world does. That fucking album rocks. I'm what? About, no, they don't, dude. Nobody gives a fuck. Who who won? Um, everyone was tripping because like Bonnie Raitt won a Grammy, and it's like nobody listens to Bonnie Raitt anymore. I'm not saying she doesn't go, bro. <laughs> <laughs> not saying she doesn't go, but I'm just saying nobody listens to her anymore. Sure, it's not the same. I, I yeah, I understand what you're saying. Like D Turnstile is one of my favorite bands right now. They're on Taco Bell commercials. They're fantastic. Yeah, yeah, they're 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 big, but it but the difference. Yeah, they have to be. That's the only way to get heard or make money. Well, of course. Yeah, you have True. to play that game. But the difference between like a big band now and a big band in Blake. Yes, that's what I'm saying. The 90s. Sure, mm -hmm. sure. The biggest. is It's night and day. It's like it, they like a big band in the 90s yeah. was fucking huge. Selling huge. out stadiums, fucking crushing it. Yeah, Oasis. Fucking Oasis, dude. Oasis. <laughs> yes, yes. Oasis. Oh, God. Yes. Uh, yes, exactly. Yes, Oasis. Yeah, and that's what I'm saying is that they're not going to make money playing current bands. They got to play Oasis. Right. They're not playing a lot of Oasis. It's mostly Sublime and Chili Peppers. <laughs> Biggest right, fucking right. shit, bro. I don't think people go to the radio to discover music. They're not going to K-Rock to be like... They used to. They used to. They don't anymore. Right. They go there to hear Sublime. Well, where the fuck do you go to discover music? But they're just playing when people used to go to the radio. They're playing that music to give them that yeah. feeling that we're talking about. When you go through your CDs and you hear the little... <laughs> right. Exactly. Jack FM was like that shit when we were growing up. It was like it would give you the fucking weird shit that you would get from... Jack FM wasn't around when we were growing up. Get them. When we were in like our... 18s to 20s like yeah. when we were in LA like that yeah. was when it was no but that was when radio kind of died <laughs> that whole thing was based in nostalgia there was no new music it was like yes. you go there to hear the shit that you downloaded off of Kaza or LimeWire bro mm -hmm. yeah LimeWire mm -hmm. that was what it was Morpheus Morpheus yeah and mm -hmm. Morpheus yeah it was a random ass station where you went to hear <laughs> hear shit that you Kaza this motherfucker said Kaza. <laughs> well, my question is, is any other station in the country playing Sublime the way K-Rock plays Sublime? <laughs> no, I think that's their motto. It's like, <laughs> we play Sublime. <laughs> the only way. <one. laughs> We're like, we are the last station that is just churning out Sublime. All Sublime, all the time. And I like Sublime, but I'm like, I'm like, it's every fifth song. I've been listening to it a lot, and I'm like, oh, here we go again. What about WBAP? I don't know what WBAP is. Whoop whap! <laughs> oh, damn! Oh, oh damn! Yeah. Uh, uh, I guess oh, that points. felt good, man. <laughs> Radio dead. Radio dead. Yeah, uh, that's a whoop whap, whoop whap. <laughs> whoop whap. Well, that's what was kind of weird. What XM started to do that I noticed they would they started dedicating stations to bands. Like there was Grateful Dead Radio, but then now there's like yeah. Pearl Jam Radio. Yeah. There's... This is on series. You're saying. Sirius XM, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, these yeah. are these are bands curating bands, aren't they? Sometimes. Isn't that what the idea is behind it? Is like we like this shit. There's a Springsteen channel. There was a great for yeah. there's one there's one station that they rotate in like yeah. this month or this week. It's gonna be all Bowie or all Linda Ronstadt. Mine just stays on Margaritaville, baby. <laughs> oh, dude. Get some. Hey, hey, is it you're saying it's stuck? Yeah, it's like stuck. It my, my button is broke. Yeah. It rains. Yeah. My that Jeep sucks. doesn't have a roof. It just like... Yeah. <laughs> right. Mine's just staying on Margarita. I can't figure it out. <laughs> Lost the manual. Yeah, I can't figure out how to change it. Where is the closest... Is there a Margaritaville <laughs> in California? I was wondering this this morning. Yes, there's one at the City Walk. Yeah, dude. Universal City Walk, baby. Walk of Fame or Walk Hello? City Walk. No, no, a resort. A resort. Not a not a, a, a resort. I want a vacation at Margaritaville, you know? Uh, like the sandals. Now here's a real question. Get it done. Can we franchise Margaritaville? Because I think that yes. is a thing that we could all invest heavily into. Yes, yes. By the way, there was a Jimmy Buffett Margaritaville Broadway show, and I'm not kidding. Yes, you're right. I sent it to you. Oh, my God. Yeah, I don't doubt it. You're right. Yeah, it was yeah. off-Broadway. <laughs> I think there's a... 
Margaritaville everything. I think that we're yeah. Well, he we got need it. to build the Margaritaville. Hey, Campbell's chunky Margaritaville. <laughs> Yummy. Hey, uh, the Beach Boys are they still a band? Kind of. Yeah. Well, Brian Wilson still sings it. Yeah, because they are they are playing when I enter the uh, auditorium or whatever with for because I'm the king of Mardi Gras, mm-hmm. and when I enter the Wow, auditorium or whatever the Beach Boys are will be performing, and I'm like, oh, that's sick. Yeah. Oh, that's that's sick. But oh, I was nice. like, oh, I thought they like. I wonder if it's gonna be Brian Wilson. Do you, I wonder if Brian Wilson's gonna fucking sing, dude? Hey, I don't know. Yeah. Well, that'll be sick if they are. Right. He kind of went a wall, but then the other dude, Mike, Post? Mike Love and Bruce Mike Johnson. Love. Uh, Todd is saying yeah. are the only original members. Brian Wilson doing his own solo tours. Yeah, dude. And I think Mike Love's kind of went a little weird as well. Smile. I love me some Brian Wilson. Well, hell yeah. Well, we'll we'll get to meet him, Blake. So wait, isn't Mike Love? Who's the football basketball player last name Love? Kevin. Played on Kevin, Kevin Love. Love. Isn't yeah. that his uncle? Right. Is that true? I oh yeah! So. Hey, this is some tea. Hey, it is. It is if Durst says it with his eyebrow f- no furrowed. <laughs> right, right. Believe you. Somebody is related. to Somebody. Yes, that is true. Okay, great. Yeah. Wow, that's crazy. I never knew that. Oh my god. Huh. Wow. Mind blowing. Can you imagine being like, my uncle is a, a beach boy, and I'm seven feet tall, and I play <laughs> professional basketball. So <laughs> we all just kind of roll. We just kind of all kind of do our thing. Yeah. It's cool. Yeah, that's tight. Thanksgiving's cool. Thanksgiving's cool. And one of I hope Durs, you just have a giant, a giant kid. I, I you yeah. and me both. Oh, <laughs> these giant fuck the giant. I hope your kids end up being fucking huge. <laughs> yeah. So they yeah. can be professional athletes. Alice in Wonderland, feet out the window style. Yeah, that'd be sick. Yeah, dude, real big boys. Yeah, <laughs> real big boys. I remember seeing that image as a kid and being like, whoa. You got her leg on. is going out the fucking window and her head went out the <laughs> chimney. Dude, fucking. Yeah, yeah. When she eats that first fucking cookie or whatever. Fucking sick. Yeah. Yeah. Smoke yeah. weed every day. Yeah, I'm into that shit. No doubt. Dude, Alice in Wonderland was a trip, bro. When's the last time you put that one on? I need to See? dig that deep. Bro, I got kids. I put that shit on, man. I got kids. Oh, that's a good one. Remember how many drugs used to be in children's Cartoons? Yeah, dude. I remember that, dude. Fuck yeah. Rip it up, kids. <laughs> Rip it up, kids. Yeah, there used to be a lot of drugs in cartoons. There were so many drugs in cartoons. There were so many drugs in cartoons. Yeah. They had to make the Ninja Turtles tell you not to do drugs. <laughs> oh! Yeah. oh like, the turtles had to come out and be like, dude, just say no. It's not cool. Just, just don't. Hey, just hold the anchovies. Blake, you've got a tight 15 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Blake's, Blake's ready for a fucking stage. Dude, yeah. you gotta hey. do that. Guys, come out to the comedy store. I got a tight 15 seconds. Hey, come on over to my place. I'm backstage, Blake. Hey, I should yeah. I go come through the curtain. Okay, you remember you, you, you remember kids' yeah. cartoons when there were so many drugs that the Ninja Turtles had to tell you not to do drugs. And there's a, the light and the lights on. Flashing light, flashing light. <laughs> and the lights on, and that's my time. That's my light. Uh, and that's my time. Light. Uh, that was that's always my favorite when stand-ups like Boy. don't know how to wrap up their set and they, i mean i i've been i i'm guilty of this too when they when they look up and they're like "Ooh, and that's my time thank you guys so much as Dude, if they I, were like they don't they don't finesse just one more minute you're saying right right like it's, it's supposed to be like a taper down yeah they don't they don't just like end on a laugh and say yeah. thank you good night they yeah. they're like they're sort of like well, yeah, fuck. It's, it's so time my, to get off. Well, so that's quiet. my time. Yeah. All right. Like, <laughs> I remember going to stand up a lot with Adam and like learning protocol of like the light with comedy. And what the light means is you have to get off stage, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you know how like comedians, they try to make it real casual. They're talking and then they'll give like just like the little head. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> but, yeah. but then bros okay. will run the light. And like oh, yeah. the light will keep flashing them. So eventually, like after like the third time, they, they're like, no, I saw it. I saw it. Right. But you know, the light guy wants to be then, then get the fuck off the stage, dude. Then get the fuck off stage. Right. Dude, I right. know. I mean, like, <laughs> dude, there used to be comics that would come to the improv and just run it by like 15, 20 minutes. 
right, where yeah. you're like, they're doing Dude. like a 15, 20 minute set and then they're up there for 30, 40 <laughs> minutes. And you're like, Jesus, wrap it the fuck up. Because that means that every other comic yeah. is like, it, it just yeah. gets backed they up. Get bumped, yeah. It's going to have a late but bedtime. And then a lot of other comics have like gigs across town that they're trying to do both spots and then it just fucks everything up. I can't remember. Adam, did you ever run? I can't remember if you ran the light at the improv. Did you ever do that job? Oh, yeah. Had to flash. Them? Oh, like actually. Yeah. Yeah, I did. Like actually run the scheduling uh, of the show and be like, bro, you got to get off. I did. I did for like a month. And there's a lot of great shows at the improv. Like a lot of it's like one of the best comedy clubs in the country right. there's also some bad shows and one of the bad <laughs> yeah. shows uh, i fell asleep during oh boy and it's my job to run the music and the light yeah. so like <laughs> it, a comic was on stage it sucked i was like probably a little hungover and i'm sitting there watching it's my job to give him the light and and i straight up fell asleep and it was like <laughs> a more amateur style night because yeah. it hence them sucking yeah. so like the guy didn't have enough time to keep going yeah, so so he never got the light. So I guess he was like, like what do you want to talk about? Uh, OK, wow. so, yeah. And then then they run over to me. They like shake me awake and they're like, OK, you don't. <laughs> and you were yeah. having a crazy dream. <laughs> to their credit, they didn't fire me. They were just like, all right, I guess back, you <laughs> back to the front door, bro. Yeah, get... <laughs> Back to answering the phones. Yeah. You're banished. <laughs> I love the idea of somebody always being like, C can I tell one more? Yeah. Right. Just yeah. One more. All right. I guess what? I can't, guys. Thank you. Good night. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, right. Why don't they just play them off like an award show? Just start playing the music while their set's going. Oh, well, that has happened. That's a good idea. Right? I've I've seen that happen before where Hold a comic will, is going way too long and they'll just <laughs> slowly turn on music, quiet, and then, right. and then raise it, raise it, raise it. Or yeah. Sandman, just Sandman sweeps him off. Yeah, mm -hmm. dude. Uh, yeah, it was people. Baby. People would get, but but also it's like you right. saw it. Was, that was such a great job because you saw like yeah, bring back the hook. Certain people were at a certain level, and then they would come in and they think they can run the light. They and they show no respect. Oh, like the politics of. And then a few years later, their career dips yeah. a little bit. Right. And they don't get the uh, same uh, spots that they used to. They don't get the same love at the club. But if they came and they just crushed and they did their time and they were polite to everyone, they would still get their spots. And it just showed like how like just being a good guy and not being a dickhead to everyone like kind of puts people ahead in this business yeah. and in life. Oh. Yeah. Do you get do you get a little star by? <laughs> yeah. Do you get a little star by your name if you like run the light? Like, do they start to be like, yo, this bro runs the light? No, but it's like known if you are the type of guy that just runs the light. No, no. <laughs> but usually people that are nice. running the light are having like a career moment where they think they're entitled to it, where they're like hot. So they're like, you know what? Fuck this. I don't I shouldn't just be doing 20 minutes. I should do 40 minutes if I want to do 40 minutes. Yeah, the ego, man. The fucking ego, bro. Ooh. Yeah, the ego, it'll bite you, baby. It gets yeah. in the way. It does. Yeah. But that was a cool job just learning that so early on and just going like being like 20 years old when I worked there, 20, 21, 22, yeah. and just being like, oh yeah, like you really saw like ebbs and flows and how quickly that can happen. Yeah, just people's people's shit cools off real quick. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good perspective when you're coming up. Like like who like who Blake? Um, who was the guy who was, uh, said he liked the smell of cookies? That guy was hella funny, and then I never saw him again. Dov Dov Davidoff. Yeah, dude, that guy was hella funny. Cookies? Oh well, he did he did fine for a long time though. Did he? Where did he go? I haven't seen him in a long time. He did okay. He did all right. And yeah. he moved to New York and I think he's still doing the same material. Would you say he's a <laughs> comics comic or, or or what would you say about him? I think he I think he's very super, super funny, but just it didn't ever write anything else. Like he wrote his like hour and then just stuck to that. Wow. So then yeah. you can get like, yeah, because you could fall into like, I don't want to do anything new. Yeah. I, I don't have anything new. Yeah, because he crushes with that. Right. But then like after I mean, it's been like. 15 plus 20 years that mm -hmm. he's doing the same type of stuff. Well, maybe he still likes the smell of cookies. <laughs> <laughs> right. And maybe he's doing different stuff now, but I know, I, I mean, there for a while, 
I knew that that was the case with him specifically. Right. And he is very, very funny. And I hope he is writing new stuff because he's, he's a crusher. Yeah. Total character. I love his whole steez. Wait, who was the guy who opened for us at Comedy Cocktail who played the guitar who just had a set? Oh, yeah. Oh. The tightest set that would crush no matter what, no matter where. Henry Phillips. Henry Phillips yes. is a very, was a very funny. Phillips. Still is, probably. Haven't seen him forever. Oh, what were his songs? Do you guys remember his songs? I can't remember. Mm -hmm. I also can't remember. I know that it went. I probably had a CD. <laughs> <laughs> I bet Blake has his CD. Da, da, da. There's a 100% guarantee that Blake has his CD somewhere. Yeah, yeah I guarantee. <laughs> I could dust it off. I'll I'll burn it for you, dude. Even he though had the uh, joke. please do. I got it. I loved it. I have no CD CD ROM, but he had the joke uh, where he was like in bed with his girlfriend, and he was like, he's like, tell me what you like, and she was like, I like when people do this, and he was like, people. <laughs> like, you know, like how many people right <laughs> hey guys like i said crushes crush. well that's one of my favorite jeff ross jokes that made me laugh so hard uh where he goes uh yeah so i got a date with a uh, a porn star and um and, and she says uh well i have to uh work tuesday so how about wednesday and he goes how about monday yeah yeah <laughs> It's so good. Uh, yeah, man. That's good. Let's, hey, hey, I say hey, let's all, end on that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, our podcast is us doing other people's stand-up <laughs> jokes. <laughs> it's kind of an angle. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of cool. Yeah. Uh, other people's appreciators, jokes. The appreciators. <laughs> this uh, is Mencia. I, I am uh, I'm getting a little itchy, though. I've I've been asked to get up and do stand-up lately, and I'm. I, it's been a long while since i've done yeah. it since my special i really I, I haven't gotten back up since then mm -hmm. that was and so COVID. now i'm, I'm th now that i have some uh some time on my hands i'm, I'm gonna hop back into the stand-up world yes that's awesome you got some pandemic material uh, yeah yeah it's fun oh so much so much <laughs> pandemic i haven't even been to the clubs i bet they were overrun by pandemic material where audiences yeah. were like, Jesus Christ, I'm I'm here to get a, away from right. thinking about the pandemic. Right. And every comic just goes on stage and talks about it for 20 minutes. Yeah. yeah. Just, you know, dip right back into your love for life, Adam. And I yeah. think you can have some winning yeah. jokes out there, baby. Yeah. I, I love life. Yeah. Are you, are you hitting the note? Gorilla Asphalt? Just do yeah. some Gorilla Asphalt? Dude, dust yeah. off the classics. Dust I like the classics. Play uh, the hits, dude. Nah, I'll probably write some new ones. I'm here to see some juicy couture. <laughs> I, want new, I want new material. Juicy. I yeah, want thanks, some thanks, new Kyle. divine material. I'll be yeah. there. Yeah. Hell see yeah. that shit. Even when you're working it out, I'll be there to watch you work that shit out. That's my favorite oh, part yeah. of watching oh, you do it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Don't be Splinter gay. Dip. Do some new one. Yeah, do Splinter Dip. No, that was, that was a real or that was one of my first first bits i would say mm. you know what I mean? that was uh what was the bit exactly it was like a a, a gay guy oh no uh, i'm gonna go yeah no it was like is this part of one of your take backs to, uh, yeah, we're uh, we're the a guy bed pressing and uh and he's like yeah uh, don't be gay, dude, as he's like teabagging his eye socket and right. like doing all this super gay stuff. He's like, suck mm -hmm. my dick. Don't be gay. Mm -hmm. It was a, it was an yeah. early, it was an it was early stand It's an early bit. It's an early bit. It's been bit. finessed. Uh, a very homophobic man that is obviously uh, very closeted. Right. Um, <laughs> or not. Is, not that, that closeted. <laughs> <laughs> which is uh, time. my life. <laughs> That's another episode. Well, yeah. well, hey, man, I just want to take back that I said B Rabbit was Eminem's character. Yeah, Yo, dude. I know Eight what Mile. A fool. And no, I you just don't like that. <laughs> I was know it? Eight Mile. Wasn't he? Wait, he was B Rabbit. What are you talking yeah. about? I thought Eminem was B Rabbit. No, <laughs> no, his no friend, that's Cheddar Bob. His friend, his friend was is B Cheddar Bob. No, he is B Rabbit. His okay, friend, Adam, Cheddar I would like an apology <laughs> immediately because that's been eating away at my soul. Okay, oh my well God. then I, I, I evidently don't know Eight Mile, which I'm fine Ooh. with. Uh, but dude, now you have another take back. <laughs> well, I, I'm sorry that I. <laughs> I hopped on making fun of you for not knowing Eight Mile. Wow, man! Uh, but 
<laughs> but what? Oh, but apologies you, never you, have but in them. No, <laughs> but. That's true. You, that's but. a therapy thing, bro. That's okay. a fucking therapy thing. You backed up so you immediately retreated. Because I offended you. No, no. <laughs> you you uh, questioned your own belief. Wait, you're going to take back your apology because he immediately retreated and decided not to fight you? No, I'm laugh. saying that Blake needs to stand <laughs> up for that? himself. He needs to stand <laughs> up for himself. Okay? Well, well I need right. to do a lot of things. I need to throw out fucking 4,000 <laughs> CDs too, but whatever. We'll work on you next time. <laughs> on <laughs> this, this is, is Important. important. Yeah. 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 Yeah.